going to be able to just pump out units now. So this is this is something that Kashin really needs to, to fix and as fast as he can because uh, usually Zerg is the one that expands the most and, and gets the most uh, resources and and uh, because he's be he's being relatively uh, un uh, unpressured in regards to resources. Uh, this is this is going to be very difficult for for Ketchitan to to win, uh, especially if we start getting well. There is no upgrades yet, but what we are seeing is a lot of Marauders now being built. So we're going to have that nice Marauder meat shield uh, with Marine backup, I assume. Yep, and uh, and we have so we have a really good uh, um, we have a really good production scheme going on here for Jaja. Uh, Catchton is looking to destroy his rocks. He has that easy, uh, easy access to his third base. Or, yes, his uh, third base or second expansion. Uh, Jajan did get now his uh, does now have his combat shield, so those marines are are a lot scarier. Does have the stim pack. Does have the concussive 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 seashells, and uh, <laughs> and is looking looking to pull ahead and uh, looking to push ahead and and perhaps make a little attack of his own. Um, and if you look here, Cha-Chan actually has quite a significant force um, just just hanging out. And we have a pretty good push. And looks like uh, cha -Chan is going to be able to hold on to it, but he lost quite a few, uh, quite a large amount of uh, his group uh, for that push. But if you see, they, they do have the one upgrade for the armor, so those marines take a lot longer to kill by those, uh, those marines. He is able to push ahead, kill off the overlord, and if you look at the, these uh, zerglings, they're, they're doing a lot of damage, but those marines just do a ton of damage themselves, take a long time to kill, um, so it was pretty good, uh, pretty good, nobody, there's been, there's been, again, a lot of nice little fights, but... Uh, no, no all-ins at this point, I guess. Uh, nothing, no one uh, has has dealt a crippling blow to either player, and nobody has uh, has really pushed ahead as the clear winner so far. Uh, but it does look like, um, you know, Catchton is getting a decent amount of units in that expansion, uh, so his income's coming up pretty good. Uh, whereas uh, uh, Jajan's income will be um, will be. <coughs> moving down shortly because uh, because he, he is running out of minerals in his main. Uh, he, I do believe Catchtan did see that and uh, is going to move away uh, as much as he can because that's uh, clearly not going to be very good for him. Those Zerglings are unfortunately just going to get killed. Uh, he did save a couple of them. Uh, sent them in again. Odd, but uh, it's okay. So that expansion is going down. And not much say or do about it. Uh, so Jajan has moved up the tech, does now have a starport, we're gonna probably I would assume see uh, some medevacs uh, based on the, uh, the type of unit he has in it. As you can see those banelings still will just absolutely destroy those marines. <coughs> Jajan is going to push ahead and try to uh, take down expansion. Catch Tan is actually in a really bad place right now because if he doesn't get another expansion, uh, Jajan is going to pull ahead of him extraordinarily in unit count. Uh, and it looks like there's really not much to speak of that Jajan has that he can do it with this. He does have that Mutalist, but that Mutalist is just four enough by the that number of marines. And uh, family plan, they do do a good amount of uh, damage. He will probably be able to uh, hold this off and make use of the drones uh, due to lack of attacking units. But at this point, um, Jajan is just pumping out the, that bio ball. Uh, and there's just really not much uh, I think that, that Catchstan is going to be able to do at this point with just two hatcheries. <coughs> um, and relatively, uh, relatively low upgrade, uh, you know, base zergling units, which yet absolutely mauled by marines. And once we start to see, uh, and, and take a look at this, so we have a planetary fortress up, and just look at the number of mules we have pumping out because of those extra 
command center. So I actually really, really enjoy watching it. Just enjoy seeing that. And, uh, and we see the uh, starport going down to the uh, reactor. So we're going to see, uh, most likely, I would assume, some uh, fast medevacs. Or, well, not fast, but a uh, <clears throat> large number of medevacs, I should say. Uh, and that will help, of course, against any sort of mutaball. Catchton trying to take back that th that second expansion. Um, really does not have much in terms of standing forces. Um, I mean, he has a pretty decent bio ball, but but against an army of this size, it's just uh, I can't see it uh, being able to uh, to actually do something of any sort. Of And here we go. Half the army's up, moved up by mistake. And you have that big fireball that has come in. And it has killed enough of Marines, so we have we have very few Marines killing just a... Or uh, trying to kill just a couple of... Or quite a few <laughs> mutilists uh, just having to kill just a couple of, uh, of Marines. But now we're in kind of a really kind of dangerous situation because those Marauders do so much damage to buildings and when stim they might be able to take down a layer uh, but I, we were catching and was able to to, uh, to stop that we do have a pretty sizable mutilisk uh, force here but uh, but Jajan has has pretty significant defenses uh, all around his base uh, those, those turrets are just absolutely destructive to uh, mutilisk obviously <coughs> So as we notice, um, Catchton is still mining off his main and his second, and is now moving on to his third. Uh, Jaja, on the other hand, has com almost completely depleted his first and his second, and is just mining primarily out of the third base, uh, which is getting reinforcements by the minute. Uh, I still, although this is getting to be a pretty scary mutilist army, I'm still uh, thinking that Jajan is is probably has the edge at this point. Uh, he just has uh, like the high, uh, very high upgrade tech. Um, he has a lot of units. We now are seeing medevacs coming onto the field. Uh, those those mutilists do so much damage, but um, but they they are taking quite a good amount of damage. Themselves as well. Just lost another mutilist. Uh, we have all these STDs that went down very quickly, of course. Uh, but that's no longer the, uh, the the place that needs to go down, which is which is this third expansion. So, well, we do in fact even have ghosts. Um, I assume maybe the ghosts are there to kill the banelings. We'll uh, we'll see. I'm not uh, not too. Oh yeah, so banelings. It's 30. 30 hit points, so I guess you could micro shoot with the ghost to kill banelings. <clears throat> so I apologize there. I don't know if that's typical or if that's uh, absolutely crazy. I, I, <laughs> I, I just know that I don't know. I don't know much about it. Uh, oh, well, I guess you could also use the ghost to kill uh, mutilists as well. There's 45 damage to, uh, to mutilisk. Uh, especially when you do it back to back, is quite a bit of damage. Oh, and that was just a large number of servants uh, lost. <laughs> and here we go. We have a big, big, scary force protection. He's moving ahead. He's gonna try to kill all those families before they get popped out. And most of them do, in fact, I think all of them got killed practically at the end, and that's the end of the game. So, a uh, great game there, guys, and I'm looking forward to game number two. As always, if you like these games, please subscribe and rate.